Howdy guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the general tab under the program's preferences. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. Guys will notice we do have a variety of different softwares we cover and also we upload videos daily. So just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, we head back in the program here. And now, uh, just a reminder, this is a mini series on the program's preferences. So um, today we'll be looking at the general tab. Now to locate your preferences, we can go here to edit under the main menu. We navigate all the way to the bottom to preferences. Now we have a number of things we have to run through over here. So um, some of the things I'm gonna go quite quick through and some I'll be displaying what they do. Now, first of all, we have um, obviously the tab, so we're on the general. Then we have maximum undo dash redo um, a setting. So this is when you go control Z, you can do it 50 times before you cannot redo uh, undo anymore and 50 times redo. But keep in mind, the higher this value is or this number, the more memory it uses. So if your computer has a good lot of memory, you can pump this thing up. Otherwise, if you're having um, difficulty with memory, you can always lower this number. Then next up, we have uh, selection tolerance. So what this basically does, it's um, also set in pixels. That is um, how close you have to click to an object in order for it to be selected. So at the moment on three, so if we just quickly cancel here. So if I go with the general tabs text, you can see I click and then it only selects it. So it's three pixels. So now let's quickly jump back there and let's set this to something like 20. Say okay. Now if I click quite far away, you can see I can already select it. So um, that can be convenient, but also if you have too many complex um, selection uh, shapes close to each other, it can be um, also quite a problem if uh, your value is too high. So three is a good default, but if you're a beginner, you could easily set this to about five, I would say. I will leave mine at three. So next up here, we've got constraint angle. So this is basically when you're going to rotate um, a shape or object and you, rest you restrain the rotation by keeping shifting. This is the amount of degrees that will do it in. So if we have a quick sample here, just so let's take general tab again. We um, double click on it. So we have our rotation arms. Then if I click and hold shifting, as you can see there, it does it in 45 degree um, amounts. Now, if we had to quickly go on the preferences again, let's set this to maybe about um, 15 degrees. So you can see it in action. Once again, keep shifting, and now you'll see every 15 degrees restrains it. So uh, if uh, 45 is too much for you, you can always set it to a custom value, which is quite convenient. Then um, next up here, we've got moving um, distance with arrow keys. At the moment is one pixel. So if we have a shape selected and we press the arrow keys, then it will move it by one pixel. So if I do it here, you can see it's just about one pixel. Obviously, if I go back to the preferences and let's set this sort of to something ridiculous like 20. And then now if I press the arrow key, you can see every 20 pixels, uh, it sets about 20 pixels every time I press once. So I li like to keep it at one because for um, working on uh, finer details. Okay, wait, that's the wrong thing I just put there. And then um, and you can also obviously set this to a custom value. So you can say distance and rather every centimeter or so forth, you know, depending on what you like. But I like to work on pixels because it makes more sense for me with the type of designs I work. Then uh, next up here, we've got save document every, and then it gives an amount. So this is kind of like um, auto saving. So uh, but by default, it is off. But if you're working on a project and you're afraid you're going to lose data, you can always enable this and then you can set a custom amount of 15 minutes. It's uh, quite a reasonable uh, time. But uh, in my case, I'm going to leave this off. Then we have a few other settings where, which we will cover in the next video. I'm seeing the video is running a bit long here. But uh, otherwise, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, um, this video and more videos like it is available here. And like I mentioned in the intro, um, we have a variety of different softwares to do the cover. You can also isolate your search here if you're looking for anything specific and you don't want to go through the list. And if you don't find what you're looking for, just also you can go here, yeah, request a training video, and then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching. Until the next one. Cheers.